Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me for this video today. My name is Nicole and I'm a reseller on eBay and Poshmark and today I'm going to go thrifting and I'm gonna take a $20 bill with me thrifting and see if I can turn this $20 into $100 by purchasing items that I can resell on eBay and Poshmark. So come with me and join me as I go into St. Vincent's. This is just a local thrift store that I like to go into and I'm going to take this $20 bill and see if I can find items that I can resell and make $100 on. So come on, I hope you enjoy it. So it is the next day and I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I picked up. Um, I took $20 into St. Vincent's and I was able to purchase some items that I can resell um, on Poshmark and eBay. So I actually had kind of a difficult time finding pieces to resell. I mean, I like the way my hair looks today. Um, I had it in a bun earlier, so it's like, whoo, it's messed up. Um, I kind of had a difficult time finding items that I could purchase to resell to make at least a hundred dollars. Um, just because there what it was kind of slim pickings. Um, I was just there last week. Um, and so I, I picked up a lot of the things that were there that were sellable last time I was there, you know, and it is a small thrift store and they don't go through inventory as quickly because um, of it, their location. It's in a small town. And so I was shopping around. I'm like, I don't even know if I can find $20 worth of stuff to sell and I can make $100. I just don't know. And I thought, well, I'm going to just have to throw the video out if I can't find anything. And... I was out at the checkout and I look over and they have like some purses hanging up like behind like this chain. You're not supposed to like reach over and I spot a Kate Spade purse and I'm like, I've never seen like a wool skate Kate Spade purse before. And so, um, I was like, hmm, I wonder if that's real. Anyway, I asked the cashier if I could see it. They were only asking $15 for it. And I'm like, um, yes, please. I'm like, yes, I'll get it. <laughs> I was super, super excited. And so I was able to find some items to resell. I actually ended up spending more than 20 because I found the Kate Spain bag. But the items that I'm going to show you are, they equal 20 up to $20 and I'm going to make over $100 profit on them once they are they are all sold. So let's just get right into it. And I'm going to show you. So I did end up spending $66 in this thrift store. But these particular items are the ones that um, they make up to $20. So um, it would be a little bit more with tax, but I figure it's pretty close. So uh, maybe $1 or $2 more with the tax for the, these two items. Um the other stuff I bought, I'll probably maybe show you that in another haul or or something. But these are the, the pieces that will equal up to $100 once they all sell. I'm really excited to show you the Kate Spade bag because it's super cute. So that's kind of the, the cat out of the bag. I actually picked up two purses. The first one I found was this. This is actually a St. John's Bay 
this is very much like Y2K. It's kind of like a can canvas or something. Tote, um, not tote, but it's just a shoulder bag. And this, they were asking $3 for, which to me was kind of high, but this is totally Y2K um, streetwear, something you'd really you'd wanna see in Depop. And I really think I can sell this for about $25. So um, I'll probably list it a little bit higher and then take offer of 25. And after Poshmark fees and um, my cost of goods, I'll make about $17 on this item and it is animal print which is really popular right now it's y2k um, and it's in excellent condition especially for being an older bag this is just so y2k isn't it so I think I can make about 17 on that one and that next item is actually this prana top and this is an extra large and it's a it was only two dollars and it's like a really nice almost like a little bit longer in the back there's pockets as well um it's almost like a chevron pattern i don't know the material but it's super soft so i'll just put that in the listing this was two dollars which i thought was a good price for this um i don't pick up all prana but due to um the style of this the material is really soft so i can put that the fabric content tag unfortunately was ripped out but or cut out but um i can put on in it that it's just a very very soft um top and i think i can sell this again for 25 dollars, maybe more but i would say comps are probably closer to around 25 and um so after fees that'll be in my cost of goods that'd be 18 dollars. so um that'd be 18 dollars profit so the last item is this beautiful Kate Spade bag. Can you believe they were only asking $15 for it? So 15 plus three for the other purse and two for the top is $20. And these are going for over $100. I did see um, some listed it needs to be here a little bit i did see some one list on mercari for 225 i don't think i'll be able to sell it for that i do think that this would sell for over 100 and i did see one that recently sold on poshmark or on ebay for 98 dollars plus shipping so definitely um i'm going to say about 100 so um if i can sell this for 100 that would be 75 profit um so 75 plus the 18 and the 17 is over 100 and i'll put the exact numbers just because i don't want to do math in my head right now on the screen so that's three items this is actually in really excellent condition and it still had the care card i couldn't believe it i mean really i'll probably use this a little bit first because i think it's so cute but um i'm going to hope that I can sell it for at least a hundred. So just those three items, I'm going to be able to profit over a hundred dollars on, which is fantastic. Um, you know, it is very easy to go to a thrift store and to shop and to just to buy whatever. But when you're going and you're like, I only have this much and I want to make so much on what I spend, you have to be kind of picky so those three items i particularly think will sell in my closet or my ebay store why do i believe that well um i have a lot of experience in selling y2k type items so that leopard purse i believe will sell because i've seen a lot of y2k items sell um i would say that i sell four to six y2k items a week on either in my poshmark closet or my ebay store um some days i sell multiples but i would say between four and six a week are items that i have listed in the description or in the title y2k they're still super popular even after a year year and a half um, i would say it was over a year ago when y2k just became super popular 
Um, it's still running strong. I'm still selling that stuff a lot. Um, also, I've sold a lot of Kate Spade. So, well, I won't say a lot, but I've sold enough to know that um, her bags do sell. They usually sell for a good um, amount if they're a newer bag. I've had older bags that have sat or older items. Even her clothing doesn't sell as quickly for me as her bags. Her bags sell the best, which that's be just because um, she's more well known or, you know, for her purses and stuff. The brand is more well known. Um, also Prana, um, that is something that sells decently well for most people. Um, I don't have great luck with like bottoms and, uh, sometimes there, her item, Prana items will sit in my store, but if you've ever been to like, I think it's like Gander Mountain sells Prana and it is so expensive. So getting a top for $25 and you don't have to go out and shop, um, you know, people are willing to pay up for certain kind of even art outdoorsy type brands. The thing with Prana, um, with this particular top, I think that will really help it to sell well is it's a size extra large. So it's a fantastic size and I think that will really help it to sell. So this was a fun little experiment to see how much money, if I could make a hundred dollars profit on $20 and it looks like I can. Now, um, I'll be honest with you, paying up $15 for something is something that I do sometimes, but I don't do it a lot because it is harder to get that money back sometimes. Um, this particular item, I know I'll get my money back uh, because it was, it, this particular bag is selling for a good amount online. There aren't a lot listed either. Um, but you know, if it was an older Kate Spade, then I probably wouldn't have picked it up for 15 unless it was desirable style, something that's selling a lot that um, a lot of people are looking for because I've picked up other designer items and uh, like coach sometimes just will sit and sit. I actually got a new coach bag I'm gonna resell um, that I got to resell on, um, I bought it on Poshmark, but maybe I'll show you guys on a different video. So, um, it's definitely possible and feasible to make make a hundred dollars on twenty dollars investment. Um, yeah. So I just want to encourage you to. Um, I don't live in an affluent area. This particular thrift store, I rarely find this kind of stuff. I find a lot of vintage that I will sell or Y two K, but finding Kate Spade Prana is very uncommon there. Um, you know once in a while, but it's pretty uncommon. And, um, the Y2K purse, that is something that's more common for me to find. So you might be in an area that's not real affluent, but you can still find good stuff. And once in a while you will find those hidden gems. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.